If you own a Legato of any age, you might decide to teach it to hunt for truffles just for fun. And that's a really great idea. My name is Julie and I'm not a professional dog trainer, but I'm a professional truffle hunter who trains dogs. Over the years, I've trained dozens of dogs, but I've never taught a Legato Romagnolo, the very dog which is bred specifically to hunt truffles. That is, until I decided to take on the training of my first ever Legato. This lovely female, Jessie. The truffling techniques that you will learn in our videos have been developed for dogs which will eventually hunt for actual truffles in the forests of Europe. However, if you own a Legato of any age, you might decide to train it to hunt for truffles just for fun, and that's a really great idea. Legati are smart little creatures, they really enjoy learning, but this means that these dogs need lots of mental as well as physical stimulation. Yes, these dogs are cute, but remember that they were not bred to be adorable pets. Legati are working dogs with working dog genes, and your dog's activities should respect that fact. It doesn't matter if you have absolutely no intention whatsoever of ever hunting for a truffle, but training a dog to sniff out the truffle is a great way to keep his brain and his body busy, and this in turn will keep him healthy and happy. There are various techniques to train a truffle dog, and I don't believe that any one of them is necessarily right or wrong, provided, of course, that the methods used are not cruel. Our techniques are simply suggestions that I would like to share with you recommendations based on what has worked for us over the years. All of our dogs are trained up to a level where they can find white winter truffles, the most elusive of all the underground fungi. So this method has been tried and tested. Of course, you should feel free to adapt to any of these techniques to suit your own or your dog's needs. So to get back to the plot, I'm coming in training from three angles, that is obedience, situational training, and truffle specific training. All three of are of equal importance. Let's begin with obedience training. Now this is not within the scope of this video but it goes without saying that it's vital. A good truffle dog is obedient and well behaved so it's essential that your dog understands basic commands and has mastered skills like recall, stay, not jumping up or biting. There's a lot for young dogs to learn and these skills take time to master. While you focus on obedience and lay the foundations for a well-adjusted dog, there are two other things that you can do simultaneously. One is to expose the dog to the different kinds of situations that it will be faced with as a working truffle dog. The other is to introduce the truffle scent into the dog's world in a way that will foster positive associations. Situational training. Here we make sure that Jessie is used to the various situations that will be part of her life when she's a truffle dog. So we go out for walks in the forest and I encourage her to explore the undergrowth. She also needs to get used to car journeys. A travel sick dog will have problems and won't hunt well. She needs to socialize with other dogs as there's a good chance that Jessie will work as part of a team. And she should get used to other animals. You don't want your dog to get spooked if it comes across a goat, for example. I do not spook easily, and those who think I do are wasting their time with their surprise attacks. Oh! Just get her used to being in the forest, negotiating the different obstacles that she'll find, fallen trees, and encourage her to explore the undergrowth, to jump over obstacles. Remember, Legotti were not developed to sit on the couch. Try to cultivate their innate traits by encouraging them to explore their surroundings. This will make for a much more balanced puppy and a better all-round truffle dog. My final training angle involves truffles. This is a young dog who is already learning a lot. It would make no sense to charge headfirst into full-on truffle training before she's ready. Instead, I will introduce Jessie to truffles, to the truffle scent, trying to create positive connections with the truffle scent in her developing brain. There are three things that young dogs love. They are food, fun, and feeling safe. Use these basic desires to your advantage. For these practices, you'll need a bottle of truffle oil. Any variety and any quality will do. Put some oil on a cotton wool ball, wrap it in foil, and put it in a sock. When you feed your dog a treat, hold the truffle ball close to its nose. Then you can put this ball under your dog's feeding bowl or tape it there. 
Truffle hunting should be the dog's main source of fun, so reinforce this by making sure that your games utilize the truffle scent. You can make a toy out of a sock and a tennis ball, impregnate it with truffle oil, or you can use bottles like these. There are some holes I've made and put a truffle ball inside and have fun. Don't forget that you need to get really excited about the game too. The Legato will take so many cues from you. Finally, link truffles with a sense of security by putting truffle oil on the dog's blanket and put that in its kennel or crate if it's a place it enjoys going into. And you can dab some truffle oil on your wrist when you're stroking the dog after a hard day of obedience training. The scent of truffle should be imprinted on her brain and connected to all lovely things. Now, don't worry if you feel that you're not making progress. Try to be a good coach. That means being persistent in the face of frustration. Be as consistent as you can. Dogs love structure and predictability, so your training will be a lot easier if you have a routine. Now, mastering these three areas will take time. If you'd like to move on to actual truffle training, then consider subscribing to our channel. We have so many different videos about truffle training and a lot more in the pipeline. So hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.